Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on June 2nd, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Looking at still a pretty active sun. We've seen three M-class solar flares the last two days. And that's what we're looking at here is the last two days of imagery on our sun. As you can see, that Earth-facing sunspot region has been the big player here, releasing three M-class solar flares. So, all Earth-facing, radio blackout impacts expected. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, big plasma filament on the left side there, underneath that sunspot region, and as well on the other side. Keeping an eye on those outgoing region here. Lots of plasma prominence here all along the surface. And as well, some fiery small sunspot regions. Let's just have a closer look here at these M-class solar flares. They were minor, but still strong solar flares, earth phasing, creating coronal mass ejections. And one of these M-class solar flares did produce quite a coronal mass ejection and is on its way to Earth. Noticeable there in the southern hemisphere, plasma filament whipping around there. Having a look at multi-spectrum, there are no coronal holes to speak of, mostly plasma filaments and sunspot regions. The active region 3664 is now labeled 3697, I do believe. Now releasing two M-class solar flares and as well another sunspot region releasing. Having a look at 171 angstroms here, this is where we can really see our heliosphere in action, all the plasma ropes all around, and as well, 10 sunspot regions to look at right now. Have a quick look here at these regions in motion. Thank you all for tuning in tonight. Needed a little bit of time off and I'm back. And thank you all for being here and your patience and loyalty. Current space weather conditions. We are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds are coming in at 317 kilometers per second right now. That's about average, but still super fast. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see here, long duration M-class solar flares and two minor spikes there. That's all in the last 24 hours. Geomagnetic activity sitting at KP2. And then have a look here at the Space Weather Prediction Center. That was the most recent large CME, which we were affected June 1st into the 2nd. So last night and the night prior. But it was a minor glancing blow. Same with this CME most recent, which is expected to hit us on the 5th of June. Quite possibly even the 4th, but lots of activity here with the sunspot region. So stay tuned because we're going to see some big events. Having a look here at Alaska 2. Got Mercury heading in behind there. Venus has now left the view. And we'll slow it down here for the Halo CME, which occurred just before midnight at about 10 p.m. last night. Halo CME. Look at tonight's Aurora forecast and tomorrow. So not too much for tonight for Canada, but tomorrow could see it as far down as the border with the U.S. Now let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours. Notable earthquake here, 5.8 earthquake. Japan, right in the middle of a small island. Animizu, Japan, 5.8 magnitude, followed by a 4.9. As well, 4.6 there, Marianas Trench. Activity all through Indonesia. No deep earthquakes to talk about through Fiji. Hawaii only reporting about 20 earthquakes the past 24 hours. Alaska. A notable earthquake up here, northern um, BC, Dawson City, Canada, 4.9 earthquake there. Actually, that's, I think, in Nunavut. And then across the United States here, notable earthquakes up the coastline here, 3.4s, 
ringing right up the Southern California coastline. No major swarms to talk about. Notable earthquakes, Lake Tahoe. And then look at Texas there, all of the earthquakes today. Boy, oh boy, USGS is reporting 277 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. Let's just have a closer look here at exactly where the 5.8 earthquake was in Japan. Right at the tip of Japan here and right along the fault line cutting through Japan. As you can see, that red line is a major fault line going right through the center of the island. Looking across the U.S., quick here, zoom in on fracking operations in Texas. Lots of minor activity being reported all around the fracking stations through Texas. Very volatile piece of land through there, hence all the fracking. Notable earthquake Minor, uh, minor seismicity of Manila, Arkansas. And as well notable here, Madison, Ohio, 2.2 earthquake, just on the other side of the lake of me. North American plate is a rockin'. Puerto Rico is a rockin' off the coast and on the coast. South America, way too quiet. Nazca plate, way too quiet. Africa, way too quiet. Greece reporting a 4.4. And Indian Plate there, pretty quiet as well, considering all the activity recently. So heads up, my friends and family, stay aware, prepared. That's what this is all about. You need to be aware of all these earthquakes going on because there are patterns that exist throughout it all. It comes in cycles and in waves. This is the last seven days for Shakers around the world. Take a quick moment to thank you all for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up if you do. Please help this channel grow by giving thumbs up, comments, and as well sharing. Get into the community section on the home page of Daily Events Worldwide and we'll watch things fly. Let's grow together. Now let's have a look at the big SO2 forecast here from that large eruption in Iceland. Look at all that SO2 funneling into the northern hemisphere right now. And if you didn't see a difference from the last video, please check it out. Huge low pressure system right now, keeping things full of sulfur dioxide air all around parts of Europe and Iceland, and as well moving into Canada. Notable eruptions here, uh, Northern Africa, Indonesia, and as well through Micronesia, Papua New Guinea, New Caledonia. Notable activity all along the coast, South America and Central America. And watch for all of this SO2 from the volcanic eruption in Iceland to encompass our northern hemisphere. Now I wanted to share here with you satellite imagery of some severe weather that is breaking out across the U.S. and has continued for the past seven or eight days in a row these systems keep forming massive supercells, derricos, and wow, some supercharged supercells tonight, especially the border with Texas. Look at this monster supercell racing right along the border here with Texas. Wow, those are some massive cloud tops. The darker the red, the higher the cloud tops, reaching probably as far as 25,000 feet. Massive, towering supercells. Thousands of prayers going out to everybody that will be affected by these storms. There's going to be considerably sized hail with that storm. Now let's have a look at world weather here. Starting and look, looking over North America. Slow low moving out of Ontario and then... Monday into Tuesday, watch one rip through northern Ontario and then circle back around. For the Canadian prairies, lots of moisture this week. And as well, a low pressure system lingers around the east, eastern parts of Canada. Watch for extreme weather to continue all through the central United States, right from Texas up into Wisconsin. 
Lots of moisture for the East Coast this week and as well the Canadian prairies. Having a look over Europe, grinding low through eastern parts, finally moving away, high pressure ridge moving in. And then a big low moves in from eastern Iceland, gathers up another low from Finland, and then they circle around each other. So watch for lots of moisture for parts of eastern Europe and as well the United Kingdom. Overlooking Australia, Africa, Southeast Asia. No major typhoons or cyclones developing, but some pretty intense weather through parts of South Africa, Monday and Tuesday. And as well, big system moving in for parts of Western Australia, 8th into the 9th. Watch for extreme weather through parts of Western India in the long range forecast going to leave you here looking at the north pacific ocean big high pressure ridge hanging out as far as the canadian border and then it stretches northward giving bc a break and then all these systems start heading towards alaska thank you all for watching everybody hope you enjoyed the show stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily do we'll see you next video if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.